Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon BGC 2019 Battle Series. It is Friday, we're ending up the week with this team that we've played all week this week. You can see on your screen right in front of you now, it is Tapu Fini, Metagross, Giveltal, Incineroar, Groudon and Thunderous Incarnate. I will get it right. The team is down in the description as always. There is a Poker Paste, a Roll Paste. If you'd like to take it away, try it out. Do so, let me know how you get on with it, and I hope you have a lot of fun with this team. So we're going to kick straight into it today. One of the big things I would like to ask you guys going into next week would be, is would you like to see me continue this team with a few changes or a brand new core altogether? So do leave your comments down below. As always, if you do enjoy this content, do drop a like on the video. It does massively help the channel, and also do subscribe. Uh, yeah, do subscribe for more Pokemon content. That's the thing. We'll hop over because we've got a rating of 1732 at the minute, which is pretty nice. So we'll see how far we can push this team. And it would be nice to continue with it next week to see how far we can actually push this team. See if we can get in the upper echelons of 1800. Uh, we haven't had Necrozma Vision 2 for a little while, so we'll kick off with that one today. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our first opponent. And uh, if it does, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we will cut right to the chase when we bump into someone on the ladder. So we'll be right back. And we've got our next opponent of the episode. We've already played Xavier, I think, this week. So it's going to be a little bit of a rematch, which will be a nice one to go into kicking us off today. So let's jump straight into team preview. Okay, so Xavier is running a team of Tapu, Lele, Selgo, Rayquaza, Dustman, Necrozma, Cartana, and that Cephalon. So we did play Xavier earlier on in the week. Uh, the Aselgo was a bit of a problem for us to deal with. Maybe we look at dealing with that a little bit differently today. We did sack it for our Tapu Fini. Um, and I don't know if we're going to get away with doing the same sort of thing again today. Um, maybe we would be better going for Incineral and Tapu Fini as a lead here. Um, hmm. Do we do that? Do we do that? Do we do that? Uh, I could lead. Hmm. I do like the idea of bringing Metagross to this game. I really do now. The Cephalon does cause us a few issues, but we do have Evelta we could rely on for that. Um, maybe I got Incineral and Metagross. Uh, it's just, if we go Metagross, it's just hard to get the switch out. Although, they have to lead Scarfed, um, so we're going to be slower anyway. Uh, I bring Evelta and Tapu Fini maybe to this one. Let's do it. I think I'm quite happy with doing this these four Pokemon. Yeah, I think they can do the job for us here. So let's get into it. Good luck to Xavier and your Pikachu outfit. And um, yeah, this cell goal, like I say, is a bit is a bit difficult to deal with. It's just about kind of getting the sacrifice for it. So it is going to probably final gambit something um, or the acid spray that we saw previously. So this is like game two, isn't it? Uh, we are going to see the Tapu Lele cell goal come out for us here again. Um, we do lead the Metagross this time. Um, now, it, it, this is a lot better for us. The, the thing is, I think one of the things that the Selgo can't do is just freely go for that. Um, the, the Lele is not really putting too much pressure on us at all. We're kind of forcing the Selgo to go for um, the final Gambit. Um, which we could do into, hmm. I think when you look at my opponent's team, the things that we, we would kind of prefer, like if it is gonna final gambit, like we could final gambit into the, like the Tapu Fini is the one thing that I would kind of prefer to get rid of. So go for the Lele with the fake out, switch the Metagross out into the Fini. The Metagross is gonna be really important to us here. The Incineroar as well, we're not in too much trouble with the Finny going, uh, the, the Incineral going down here from Final Gamma because we've got more HP than the, the Cell goal. So if it does decide to Final Gamma that slot, I would imagine it goes for the Metacross though to get rid of it. We're going to see an Acid Spray. It's going to be into the Incineral here. Um, but I mean, the one thing we've got going for us now is like, I think, yeah, I think like Finny will take an Acid Spray Moonblast right now from the, the Lele. And we can switch into Metacross again now and go for a hmm, could go for a light screen but we're probably better off going for an icy wind here um into both targets so let's see what 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 happens right now 
final gambit. It's gonna be into, ooh, into the Metagross. Oh, that's a, sh oh, that's the one thing we didn't want to get rid of. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Moonblast coming out from the Lele into our Finny. And we do get the Icy Wind off, which is decent because it does make things a little bit easier for us to deal with that, I guess, going into these next few turns. So, uh, we'll bring in Eveltal. This is max speed Lele. It probably does still at speed our Eveltal. Uh, but we will get a Misty Seed boost, which is the big thing here for us. Um... And having Incineroar around as well does help against the Rayquaza, especially now where we can protect Eveltal, bring in Incineroar uh, for Tapu Fini, um, and get the Intimidate onto the Rayquaza, which is pretty huge. And kind of preserving that double Dark Core for potentially what would be the uh, Dustman and the Cosma in the back is way more beneficial for us than maybe having Metagross. In hindsight, anyway. Um, I'm just going to protect Eveltal here because I can expect maybe a double up into that slot. And I'm just going to bring in Incineroar. Get that all important Intimidate onto the Rayquaza. So there's the Intimidate. There we go. We've got access to Fake Out going into the next turn, which is really nice. Uh, we are going to see the Rayquaza Mega Evolve. And the big thing is here, I think, what we could potentially do as well. Fake out the Rayquaza, go for a Tailwind. Um, and then try and maybe get a Tapu Fini back onto the field with that Heal Pulse support. It could be so, so big for our Eveltal support here. Dragon Ascent. Going into the Eveltal. Moonblast into Eveltal. Yeah, there's a double up. So, um, I mean, one thing I'm probably more tempted to do is actually fake out the Tapu Lele. Because I feel like the Rayquaza might be sashed and it might want to... Or is it banded? Like, if it's banded, we do get punished for that. Um, and then we have Extreme Speed to deal with. So we're probably better off taking a Moonblast rather than... Yeah. And there's a the Moonblast. Okay, so the next turn, if it is banded Rayquaza, we can deal with it and get a U-turn out onto the Lele. Uh, is it going to be enough though? I don't. I really don't know if it is going to be enough. I think what I might do is just U-turn out onto the Rayquaza, just to play it safe, get Finny onto the field so we've got that heal pulse support, um, and then we can... Then we can. Okay, we're gonna see extreme speed. So it's not banded, Rayquaza. It's probably Life Orb, though. And we definitely see Moonblast into that slot as well, I think. But the next turn, at least we can get um, the Heal Pulse from Finny into that slot. Yeah, doubling up into the Eveltal. Missy Terrain does disappear. Um, no, I think I go for the only problem is doing this is like I am leaving the Lele a little bit unchecked, which I'm not massively comfortable with. Um, so I could foul play, I could snarl and then switch in. No, I need to heal pulse, I need to heal pulse. Good light screen, the heal pulsing is better. I can light screen the next turn, yeah. So I'll heal pulse this turn. Okay, requires are going to protect. Um, that's fine. Get the far play into that slot. That's maybe where we should have went for the snow. But yeah, because the moonblast still going to do a good chunk of damage to us. Yeah. And maybe this is where we protect and go icy wind. Again, and try and just reduce the speed that Rayquaza. Hmm. There's the protect. Hopefully, we see a double up. Oh, it's going for the double protect. It does fail though. We don't miss any target, which is the big thing here, I think, for us. 
because our tailwind will be ending soon, and we need to make sure that we are outspeeding. Like, Tapu Finney will outspeed the Lele. I don't think we're going to outspeed the Rayquaza, but that Rayquaza is definitely in foul play range now. Our tailwind does pit her out. Um, the Rayquaza probably goes for a Protect again here. Um, but I mean, if it does, then we're just in the same exact situation as we were before. Um, I'm going to go for a Heal Pulse into Veltal. Oh, it goes for extreme speed. That's fine. Because we take that. Ah, oh, are you kidding? I mean, that's a game there. Like. Crit extreme speed. Are you joking? Like, are you actually kidding? <laughs> There's no point in playing on now, I don't really, well, I mean, we'll play on, just, it's just, it's so frustrating when stuff like that happens, um, it's just we haven't got a dog type attack on Incineroar, so if it is the, the Ultra Necrozma, it makes things so much difficult, and like, Finny's just gonna go down now, um, like, a berry is not gonna get procced, I mean, we can, we can try and light screen, I guess. Yeah, and there's a Dragon Ascent. It's going to be into Finny. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Nothing like RNG to spoil a good plan. I feel like we had that pretty much wrapped up there. Uh, like, we take the extreme speed. It's minus one. It's not going to be doing that much damage. Um... We get the heal pulse, we take the the Moonblast, pick up the knockout onto the Rayquaza. Uh, and we'll see what the last Pokemon is now, I guess. And if it is that Dustman Necrozma to the Ultra Necrozma. I mean, they don't have a way. It's Cartana even. Okay. But at that point, we have Incineroar on in the back to bring in to Intimidate to actually deal with the Cartana. So, I mean, yeah. Eesh. What can you do? We got really unlucky against Xavier like earlier in the week and again it's happened and RNG is screwing us. We must have a magical RNG card. Good game to Xavier and uh, <sighs> just got to suck it up. Try and um, hmm. move on, not tilt. That's the big thing. It's so frustrating now, this game at times, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. It really is. But I mean... It's a game we play, we gotta just suck it up, deal with it, and then move on and try and um, not get ourselves too worried about it. Head up about it or whatever, but yes. It's easy saying that. Still would like to flip a table, throw my DS out the window. But we won't do that this time. Um, we'll pick some music, we'll hop over to our, our normal screen. And we can have a look. And our score, 17-16, still not the end of the world, we've got Elite Four, we've got Ziggle, I don't know if that's even how you pronounce it, but let's get into uh, Team Preview. They are playing a team of Dawnwings, Necrozma, Salamence, Groudon, Venusaur, Incineroar, and Tapu Lele. I wonder if there's a dual Mega with the, the Mega Venusaur, maybe, and Mega Salamence. Uh, we've got Tailwind support here, we've got the Psychic mod between the Dawn Wings, which is going to be Ultra Necrozma and the Tapu Lele. Timidate, Fake Out support from the Incineroar, we've got the Groudon, which is going to bring the Sun, Ground Attacks, potentially Eruption. The, the Venusaur is going to be tricky because it probably will have Chlorophyll, Sleep Powder, that's something that we need to watch out for. Um, the Salamence as well has got Tailwind, so there's the speed control support. I do feel like Eveltal's good here um, in general. I think it will lead Eveltal, Tapu Fini. I'm going to bring Incineroar for sure because we need the Intimidate support. And is this one where we bring Groudon? Maybe Groudon could be good. Um, hmm. well, Thunderous could be decent as well. It's just the psychic terrain's a little bit awkward and Thunderous doesn't really do that well against Groudon or Venusaur. Um... Metagross could be decent, actually. Yeah. Metagross could be quite good. It's just the, the opposing Incineroar, which I do worry about a little bit, and makes me probably want to bring 
grad on more than the Metacross here, I think. So, um, yeah, we'll go. We'll we'll go with this. The only thing where I'd want to bring Metagross is because it's it's decent against the Lele. It's a good switch in there. It's a good switch in for the Z move from the alternate Crossma. But it is Dawnwing's variant, so you've got to worry about that a little bit because it has got the the Moonguys beam. Um, so it does put me off slightly, but there's the Lele, there's the Salamence. I mean, the first thing that we can, we are going to be able to do is is get override this Psychic Train, which is nice. And I think straight away I want to withdraw um, Finny into Incineroar, probably protect Ivaltal. So at least we've got some sort of option to fake out potentially the next turn. Um and try and match Tailwind, which I would imagine the Salamence going for now. Uh, there's also the threat that my opponent could double up into Veltal with Double Edge and Moonblast, which would not be ideal for us. Um, so I think I will just do that. And keeping our terrain in the back kind of keeps us on the front foot, I feel, because I think the Lele probably does... If It, it might want to stay in and try and Moonblast this turn, but it definitely switches out the following turn to try and... Maneuver and, and construct that board position late game where the Ultra Cosma comes in so you can switch in and get your psychic train up for that Z move. That's a big thing. Um, if they have brought that, of course. So we are just going to see the Mega Salamence. Mega Evolve will get the Incineroar onto the field, get that Intimidate onto the Salamence, which is quite important for us, I think, going forward. Um, and we will see the Protect from Ivaltal, just in case the double up comes out this turn. There's the Moonblast from the Lele into that slot and the Salamence going for the Double Edge into that slot. So doubling up, so as we kind of thought that would be the case. Um, okay, so we will go for the Tailwind here, I think. Hmm, does the Lele switch out? Do we, do we predict the Lele to switch out? I think what we could potentially... Do we fake out the Lele? Or not? Could fake out the Lele. I just don't want to take double edge moon blast damage into the Eveltal. Yeah. There's a part of me that's like, do we just U turn there? But no, I don't think we do. Okay, so we're going to see the Salamence match our Tailwind. Just fine. Completely fine. And we'll match the Tailwind back. So that's good. We're keeping up. Keeping up with them, aren't we? Um, Alright. So the Salamence is still a bit of a problem. I think. You know, we have got the Intimidate onto it. I think we can go for a U-turn into the Lele this turn. Pretty safely protect the Aravaltal. So again, we don't want that double up, you know, from my opponent. That's the one thing. There's a Moonblast into that slot. And once again, I'm going to see the double edge. Yep, into that slot. So we're going to get this free U-turn out. And um, the more that we can do this, the better, really. And we can also we can switch in our Incineral back in for... Um, Tapu Fini this next turn. We don't want to reveal we've got the Groudon in the back just yet. We want to just sit tight on that. Um, and this next turn, obviously, what we could potentially do is Icy Wind and Foul Play. Um, the Lele. Or we could Snarl. Yeah. Um, no, I think we Foul Play. No, the Lele. The, we Snarl. We Snarl. We Snarl. Schnall and we I mean could Icy Wind and then we can Heal Pulse the next turn as well that's the big thing and I think we may, I think we take a Moonblast Double Edge with Eveltal okay we're not going to see the Salamence stay in so this is fine, Groudon going to come out do you not mind at all because now we can we can, we can totally do the, the Heal Pulse The heal pulse turn next turn. As the Lele will get to Moonblast finally into this Eveltal after we've avoided it for so long. There's Moonblast into Eveltal. Okay, I take that a little bit better than what I thought. It's maybe not Max. Oh, come on. Really? <sighs> this Tapu Lele got like Bright Powder or something ridiculous like that. Blatantly has. This is super frustrating. Super frustrating. Um, okay, let's let's protect Evel till this turn. Let's go for another. I mean, we could go. We could go light screen. 
Light screen's not a bad idea because it, it dampens the, the, the effectiveness of the Tapu Lele. Um, the Salmon's going to come in. Okay. Icy Wind would have been better. Hindsight? Hindsight's a great thing, but. We're going to see Fire Punch maybe from the Groudon. Yep, into the Veltal. Yep, that makes a lot of sense. Tailwind's pitter out on both ends of the field. Um, I think. Do we go for it? Do we go for it? Or do we go for Icy Wind, Tailwind? Double Edge probably gets us. From the Salamence. But I mean the Tailwind. If they do that, then that's fine. I think I'll I'll try and get I'm gonna get Incineroar in. If we lose Yveltal here, that's fine. We'll get our tailwind up. That's a big thing I think for us right now. I'm getting the intimidate onto both these physical attackers, or predominantly physical attackers is, is more important. There's a double edge. So you're yeah, not going for that. Yeah. So that Intimidate coming in super handy for us. So we're now going to get a Tailwind up. And we're putting ourselves in a position where we can kind of try and capitalize. Even if we lose Yveltal here. I'm going to say Sword Stance from the Groudon now. Which is really interesting. Because now we're kind of we're going to be able to kind of pin the Groudon in. By faking out the Salamence. Denying their Tailwind. And, and Foul playing into the Groudon. Because with that boost the Foul play 100% takes it down. Groudon probably protects here, I would say, but we don't want to leave it alone because it could punish us really badly. We want to, yeah, okay, there's the Salamence coming in, Tapu Lele coming out, okay. Does the Groudon protect though? That's the thing. Because even if it protects, this next turn is still going to go down. No protect, we are going to outspeed it, we'll get the foul play and pick up the knockout onto the Groudon, making things a bit easier for our Groudon when we bring it back in later. Um, the Tabulele coming in. The Tabulele now going to be in foul play range. You know, before when it was out on the field, uh, one of the reasons why I didn't go for it was because it was minus two alongside that Salamence, which is minus two. Um, we know the Tabulele is scarfed, so that's something that we can definitely pick up a knockout on. Um, and I think the Salamence definitely either goes Tailwind or it targets down Arivelta here. But Ivelta's done so much work for us. Um, I think what I'll do as well, I'll just get some chip damage onto the Salamence. I'll just U-turn out onto it with Incineroar. Like I say, the foul play now will pick up the knockout onto the Lele. Now oh, the Lele switching out. Okay, that's fine. The Crossma coming in. I really don't mind that at all because this might be enough to pick up the knockout there. It's going to be very close. Yep, one hit KO. And now Salamence, Finny versus the world. So... Hyper voice. Ah, oh, there we go. Can we take it? Yveltal withstands it. Oh, it's a beast. Okay, this is great. Because uh, now we get Finny in. We've got a Tailwind still up. We can heal Pulse. We can take down the Lele. And then the Salamence versus the world, which is <clears throat> just super fine. And it works out pretty well for us here. So we got a terrain up. I know it's going to be overwritten, obviously, with the psychic terrain, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, we've got one turn of Tailwind left. And I think that's pretty much all we, we're going to need to close this one out. Because <clears throat> the Salamence can't afford to Hyper Voice here, I don't think. Um, I think it has to double edge the Yveltal. Um, we'll far play the, the Lele for sure. And we will heal pulse Ivelto. And my opponent just forfeits a very good game to my opponent. And uh, although we started pretty rough with the RNG there, uh, at least we come back and finish on a high to go into the weekend, which is really nice for the team. So we will make some changes maybe to the team, uh, depending on comments, what I hear from you guys uh, going into next week, or we might come back with something brand new going into next week. So do leave your comments. Let me know, guys. Have an amazing weekend have a fantastic weekend and i'll all catch up with you on on monday next week so just um until then have a good one and take care of yourself so until then bye bye